How are we doing guys? This is our first of four activities for you guys over the next few weeks. The first one we're going to do is football. So if you can get a ball, it doesn't really matter, any size of a ball will be fantastic. And what you'll also need today is five tins or cones if you have them at home. So you can use any of those. And uh, you can have a net if you have a net at home as well. Or you can use uh, two jumpers or two chairs. Anything you want like that. So. We'll get started here. It's going to take us about 30 minutes to go through all these skills. What I want you to do first of all is set our area up. So we're going to use our five cans. What we're going to do first of all before them is we're going to make a square. So if you set one in the corner and then you come over and you can set another one, you can go maybe about three or four steps. I'm just going to try and keep it here within the camera as well. And then I'm going to have two cones down or two by at the back here and have one at the other side so I've got my square and then I'm going to set one in the middle okay just as a little guide for us to always come back to the middle so I want you to start off we'll have our ball here okay all right and we just have our can in front so on your ball I want to just do a warm-up to start here so all I want you to do is start off it's just two taps so just tapping the ball toe tapping Tapping the ball. That's just getting the heart rate up, getting ourselves warmed up. So just gently tapping the ball. And I want you to do then is can you tap it and move it forward? That's a tough one. And then tap it moving back. If you're finding that hard, you can stop and roll it back and then roll it forward. Or if you can, can you tap it? So you're tapping it forward and back. Excellent. Good. Now can you go tap it sideways? So you're gently tapping it and going sideways. Again, if you find that hot, a little bit hard, you can just gently move it with the bottom of your foot to the side, like so. Go back to the middle, and then tap. So we're gonna call this middle, this cone here in the middle, this is gonna be our middle, okay? That's the middle cone. All right, and then if you want now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dribble forward, stop it, turn, stop, turn, keep dribbling forward, stop, turn, dribble, stop, turn, that's it, stop. And turn, excellent. And we're gonna come back to the middle. I'm gonna go side to side. So I'm gonna roll it to the side and stop it. I'm gonna roll, roll, stop, roll, roll, stop. So using the bottom of my foot to roll it. As long as you're going sideways, you can get it across any way you want. Roll, roll, and stop. Good. Now, pick the ball up in your hand, and I just want you to move around the square any way you want, just having the ball in your hand. So you can bounce it around. So it's good, especially when we're training for football, that we get to use our hands as well. So you can maybe drop it with dribble it with one hand, because we want to be all around athletes. We want to be absolutely cool and excellent at doing all types of sports. So can you bounce it with one, bounce it with two and catch, and I go in different ways around me square. So this is just a warm up, just to get their heart rate up, getting their hands moving, getting their feet moving. Excellent. Let's do the same thing now. This time, you're going to be on the ground dribbling. If you're finding this cone in the middle, a little bit annoying, just set it off to the side. We can bring it back in later. So, you're using different parts of your foot to move around inside your square. Try not let the ball go out. So, going sideways, backwards, going different ways. Super excellent. Get myself warmed up. Moving around. Trying different tricks if you have any there. Maybe you're more skillful than me. So try different ones as you're moving around. Excellent guys, well done. Super. And freeze. Woo. So you might warmed up now a little bit. A few little exercises we can try now to help us warm up is maybe with our hamstrings. So all I want you to do now is just kick the leg up, bring it down, and kick the other one back and to the side. So we should that again now with the other foot. So and kick it up, leg down, back out the side. And then you can do it just a little bit quicker. So up and back, up and back, and up and back. Excellent. Now what I want you to try now is this one here. This is what we call squat. So I just want you to squat down, come back up. Squat down, back up, and squat down, back up. We'll do two more. Squat down, back up, and then squat down, and back up. Excellent. This time, go to the end of your of your grid where your two 
back pins are. We're gonna walk our hands out. These are called inchworm. And let's see, can we get a little bit of press up in this one as well? So I'm gonna tuck my chin in, keep my legs as straight as they can. I'm gonna walk my hands down to the floor. I'm gonna do a press up, okay, as best I can. Then I'm gonna bring my feet, by bringing my bum up, I keep my legs really straight. Then come up. Then I'm gonna do another one. We'll go down, let's see, can we do three of these? Then we press, then walk our feet in. Right up, good. And then we'll do one more. So, really good in the hamstrings here, this one. We're walking out, getting a bit of strength to in our upper body. A little press in, and walk our feet in. And back up. Super, so, well warmed up, well stretched now. This first part, we're gonna do it without the ball. So, really important when we play any sport or anything at all that we're super duper quick and you've got speed all right really important we get speed here's what we're going to do we're going to play a little game now all right i'm going to number your cones you can number them at home as well so this is number one here this is number two behind me here is number three and number four so can you number yours at home so one two three and four you can point to them yourself. This one is the middle one, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna call out a number. You have to quickly go, touch that number, and then come back to the middle. So I'll show you an example. You can do it along with me if you want. So I'll say number one. So run out, touch number one, and then come back to the middle, okay? So we're working on our speed here. So we wanna be brilliant footballers, brilliant athletes at anything. We need to get our speed going quick. Okay, so we're ready. And number three. So three, back to the middle. Good. Four. Four and back to the middle. Super. Two. Two and back to the middle. Excellent. If you want, you can make your square a little bit uh, bigger. Make it a little bit harder. Okay, this time. I'm going to call out two numbers. But you always come back to the middle. And again, I'll show you. So I might say one and two. So one, back to the middle. Then out to two. And then back in. All right. So always come back to the middle after you touch one of the cans. Ready? Three and two. So three, and then back to the middle, and then two, and then back to the middle. Excellent. Right. Let's see, can we go a little bit sharper? Again, make your grid wider if you want to really challenge yourself. You ready? And go four, two, one. So four, and come right up through. Two, back to the middle. One, and back in. Whoa, well done. See if you're beating me. Mine's only a short square, but yours hopefully is a big, big, massive square. All right, let's try it again, okay? Let's now for the calls. Ready? And three, two, four. So three, come on, and then two, and then straight through to four, and then back to the middle. Did you beat me? Did you, were you quicker than me? Maybe you were, maybe you were, you probably were. Young, fit people like you. Right, this time, okay? Let's see if we can remember the numbers. Ready? And three, four, two, one. So three, come here, four. I'm going straight through, two, back to the middle, one, and I'm back, whoo! Wow, take a breath, take a breather, take a breather. Excellent, well done. Now, as you're taking a breather, let's see can we do it now this time? Except we're bringing the ball in, all right? So we'll bring the ball in, all right? And we'll start off, let's just start off with it in our hands first, okay? So again, I'm gonna call out the numbers. You just run with the ball in your hand. Just get used to the ball. Okay, ready? And three, two, one. So three, come up here, two, back to the middle, and one, and back in. Brilliant, well done. Super, right, this time. Okay, are you ready? Let's time for the numbers. Four, three, two. So, oh no, the four's there. Nearly made a mistake. Back to here, it's three. Back up, it's two. Back to the middle, excellent. Right, this time, I want you to bounce the ball as you go to each one. So you bounce it, so you bounce with one hand, or bounce with two hands, okay? So even important too, if we're a goalkeeper in football, we're using our hands. We're very, very good for using our hands in any other sport. Ready? And three, one, two. So three, 
Good, dribble it up. One, come back around here. Two, back in. Yes. Well done, guys. Well done. Super. Right. We'll go one more bounce in, and then we're using our feet. Okay. Everybody still good? Super. Right. We ready? Four, two, three, one. So four, bounce in it. Bounce in it up to two. Come back. Three. Move whatever way you want. One. And back. Done. Excellent. Well done. Get a quick breather now if you want. And then just set your ball down in the ground. Okay? Right. So we're going to do it now. This time, but when I call out the number, you have to go around your tin or your cone, whatever you're using. So you have to go around it. So I'll show you. So it might be one and two. So I'll dribble up to one with my feet, go round my cone, come round this middle one, back up to the two, right round it, and come back in. Okay? So it might take us a little bit longer, but we're trying to keep the ball close to our feet. We don't want to lose control and let it go way ahead. All right? So are we ready? So let's know for the numbers. Ready? One, two, four. So one, right round, good, good control guys. Two, go right round it, right down to four, and come back up, and relax, excellent. So one, two, four, super, super, right. Ready to go again. Listen out for the call. And three, two, four. So three, or oh, three's down this way. So three, coming up, trying to use both parts of my feet. Are you both feet tight? Two, four, and then back up to the middle. Excellent. Ah, well done. That's tough. Yeah, mine's probably a smaller square. Maybe if you've got yours bigger, that is even better. So well done, guys. Well done. Okay. Last one, that's a little bit of a dribble. Okay. Ready? Four, one, two, three. So four, I'm going this way first. Four, then I'm off the one, so after the one, whoa, then I hit the cone, back down to three, back to the middle, and I'm in and relax it. Wow, great skills, guys, great skills. So, what we're gonna do now is we'll use the grid again, okay? We'll just work a little bit on our uh, feet dribbling, and then we'll come back and play this, see if we can get any quicker at doing it, okay? So whenever we dribble, we use different parts of our feet. So we can use the inside of a foot, the outside, the bottom of your foot, really any part of the foot, as long as you can keep it under control. So that's all I want you to do now. Dribble and use loads of different parts of your feet. So we might go sideways, we might dribble, we might dribble around this way, loads of different ways, okay? So I'm gonna use the outside of my foot, the inside, I can use the bottom, I can roll it back. I can load loads of different ways. So loads of different ways in and out. All right, so you keep practicing. I want to see, can you go around your grid? Who can you keep control of it? Maybe if you're good, can we get a step over in? So you step it over, go around different ways. Use our foot, different ways of keeping control of the ball. Excellent. Now, so we've had a little bit more practice now. Let's put your 10 back in the middle. As you dribble now, see, can you dribble? using just the inside and outside of your foot when we go. So this is the inside of our foot, this part, and then our outside of our foot. Okay, so inside, outside, as we dribble along. Even better if we can use both feet. You try, give it a go. And this is what it's all about, practice. Okay, so you just need to keep practicing hard. All right, are you ready? Listen out for the numbers again, remember your numbers? One, two, three, and four. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. So two inside, outside. So we're using both parts of my feet. Three, good. Come back around again. Excellent, guys. Well done. So out the four. Come back up and around. And freeze. Excellent. Brilliant dribble in there and you're using both parts of our foot inside and out. Take a breather. You're ready to go again. Let's see if you can beat me each time. Can you come back quicker than me? All right, that's your target. Can you be back in the middle quicker than me? Okay, 
one, three, four, three. So one, good, and side back to the foot. One, three. Whoa, hit the can over. Can you fix it? Good, see, can you beat me? Four, getting down and side back side. Right and side back side. And then down again to three, and side back to the foot. And keep them going, keep them going. And freeze. If you beat me, were you quicker than me? Probably worked. Probably work. If you didn't beat me, I'd say your squares is probably bigger. Okay? Good work. That's it. We're practicing. We're practicing hard as well. So, let's see. This is our last go at this one. Really big effort. See if you can beat me. Loads of numbers in this one. Are you ready? One, two, four, three. So, one. Back around. Here. That's two. Good, super. Keep dribbling. Keep dribbling. Four. Super. Back up and around. And then three. Bring it. Back up. And freeze. Excellent, guys. Super work. Good dribbling. Love that. Keep practicing that too with the inside and outside of your foot. Now, we're going to try now. You're going to try and do a few turns. So you can take your metal can out now. All right. You can use your area or you can use if you have a bigger space at home, that's fine. The first skill we're going to do is a drag back. So when I do a drag back, I dribble up, I use the bottom of my foot, I drag the ball back, okay, and then I turn and go with it, okay? What I don't want to do is I don't want to drag it back sometimes, when I drag it back and turn this way, because then I don't really see the ball. Whereas if I'm dribbling up and I drag it back, I can turn this way, yeah? If the defender is this side, so pretend there's a big scary defender here, he's over here somewhere. If I drag it back, I can use my body and go the opposite way. Same with the other side. If the defender's here, I'll drag it back with my right foot and turn this way. So what I want you to do is just practice that first. So come up, drag it back, go to the next line, drag it back. So you can change feet. So I go right foot here, and I'm gonna go left foot there. So you try it. So put your foot in it, Drag it back and then go. Drag it back, let it come and go. So you try it out now. Give it a few goes. Drag it back, forward, back, again. Good. Keep trying. Keep trying. A few more to go. A few more. Excellent. And freeze. Now, here's the thing. Every time we do a turn, you're trying to trick the defender. So I'm going to tell you one thing. I want you to go in slow. And come out quick. I'll tell you what I mean by it. Alright? So if I'm dribbling up, okay? So if I'm trying to get past the defender or trying to trick somebody, if I dribble up slow, so dribble up slow, yes, 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 and then bam, out quick. Okay? So watch again. So dribble, 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 foot on, go back, and away you go, quick. Okay? So it's like slow, 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 and then quick, really explosive away. Okay? So make sure you're dragging that ball right back so you're turning. Straight into it, okay? Alright? So ready? And away you go. So dribble, turn, yes, take it with you. Turn, take it with you. Out slow, out slow, out slow. Dribble, turn, good. So dragging it back. Let's see, you can do a few more of those. Keep trying those. Remember, I think I was doing it wrong a few times. You're turning with your body, so you're protecting the ball the whole time. So turn, so you can see the ball. I can't really see it that way, but this way, I can see the ball as it turn. So keep practicing that. Remember, in slow and out quick. In slow, out quick. Excellent. Well done. And freeze. Take a breather. Now you can watch me. This is our last term we're going to practice today. And I want you to continue. After this video, you can practice at home. In your yard or wherever you are. This one is called the Cruyff turn. Okay? So when we do the Cruyff turn, what I do... Is I'll go through it first. So this is what the Cruyff turn looks like. So dribble it up, dribble it up, dribble it up, and go back round, okay? So, watch again, I'll do it in slow-mo, okay? So as I dribble up, what I do is I plant my right foot here beside the ball, and what I do with the other foot is I come over the top of it, okay? So see the way my foot is now over the top? Then I flick it back with the inside and go and get it. Watch again. Dribble up, I'll go slow. Ball's in front, I put my right foot here. My left foot comes over the top of the ball and flicks it back. Now, the 
if any of you, you can ask your mom or dad, or if you're on YouTube or anything, just type in Cruyff Turn, okay? He was a guy who uh, played for Holland and Ajax in Barcelona. He was a fantastic, brilliant footballer, but he came up with this turn himself, and he did it in the World Cup. And there's a clip, I think it was against the Italians, the French maybe, but he did the turn, and the defender totally tricked him. So he pretended that he was going to cross the ball, so the defender was here, he was pretending he was going to cross the ball, and then he quickly turned. The defender went that way, and he went this way, all right? So you should look it up on YouTube, and you could see, he went in really, really slow, he was jinking, jinking, and then he went, bang, and he was out really quick. And that's what I want you to try with it. So give it a go, give it a go. So you're dribbling up, you plant that foot, and then turn, okay? Try it again. So dribble up, dribble up, plant the foot, and then turn. So you're hitting it with the inside of your foot. So your left foot is going right over the top of the ball, and then you turn. Okay, so give it a go. Dribbling up, dribbling up, dribbling up, turn, and then coming back down. Good. Try it out. Even if you could try it with the other foot. So coming up. Oh, yes. And you're trying to knock it back. Okay, remember, you're in slow as if you're pretending. I'm going to cross it over there. So as if I'm going to cross, and then I come and turn back out of it. Pretend now with my left foot, I'm going to cross it over this way. So I'll dribble up, pretend I'm going to cross, and then I come out of it really quick. So practice that now. Keep practicing that. Great turn to try. And you maybe even trick somebody at home or some of your teammates whenever you're back out playing. So do the Cruyff turn, turn it back in. Excellent. Give that a few more goes. Super. Now, here's what we're going to do now, guys. We're going to work now a little back to our dribbling. And we're going to dribble through the cones now. We're going to put them on a straight line, okay? So we can... We can uh, work on a bit of dribbling inside and outside of the foot again. So you can use your um, your five uh, cones or tins. You can have them a little bit apart. I mean, actually, it might be easier if I did them towards using the camera. I'll maybe do them at an angle, then I might get all of it in. So if I did them like this, you put them on every way they are. As long as they're in the line, you might have more space. I just need to try and fit all mine in. An angle, so that's my last one there. What I'm doing is I'm starting up with my top one. Remember, inside and outside of our foot, that's what we're going to use. So, inside of my foot, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, and then you can come back up. So, I'll go slow inside, okay, outside, then inside, outside, inside the right, outside the right, inside the left, outside the left. Watch again. You keep practicing. If you want, you can look at me or you can go ahead, try it yourself. So I'm going inside the right, outside the right, inside the left, outside the left, inside the right, outside the right, inside the left, outside the left. Okay? And then you can practice it by going a little bit quicker now each time. So here we go. So inside, outside, inside, outside. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Then I'm going back. Inside, outside, inside. Oh no, hit the cone. Outside. And then inside, outside. Well, a lot trickier than you can think, but keep practicing it. Keep practicing it. So keep going, keep practicing. You can do a few of those. You can keep working hard, moving the feet in and out as you're going along. It's a great one to practice. If you want as well, you can mix it up. So you can go inside, then you could roll it with the bottom of your foot. You go roll it, and then you can move it around. Okay, so there's no right or wrong way. As long as you're moving, you could try a little the down turn. So you can come here, roll it with one foot, then turn, and again watch. I roll it. You try and be really creative. So there's there's no wrong. Okay, as long as you're keeping the ball under control, and you can move in and out. The whole way through it so keep practicing that that's a good one now what we'll do now is we're going to do a little bit of shooting practice um, on or a little bit of passing first maybe if you have a net if you don't that's fine you can use maybe two chairs as post or two jumpers just set them down so they're two goal posts so you can maybe if you have a jumper you might set this over here a little bit you might set one jumper here 
and you might set another jumper here or the same with the chair as long as you're somewhere to maybe shoot in too. Now if your brother and sister at home or mom or dad you get them to do nets or we could try and use our tins. Here we're going to do. I want you now to set your tins. You can kind of set them, you don't have to set them in a straight line, you can have them kind of staggered as long as they're kind of in and around the net. So you can have some short, you can have some long, you can have them right in at the corner, whatever it is. Okay? So now we're going to do a little bit of shooting. Okay? So this time you're now going to use the ball, you use whatever foot you want, but you have to knock over the tins. Okay? So you can knock over the tins. Or you will try we'll try it that way first. You have to knock over the tins. So maybe it's like a like a pass or a shot. So what I'm gonna do for most of these is use the inside of my foot. So the tins are here, okay? Uh, I'll start this thing, might use my right foot, I'll maybe mix it up a little bit. Do, do, do that. So it's here, and maybe go, look at the tin. Ah oh, yes, someone knocked one over. I'll go get the ball and see, can you knock all five tins over? So you have a go now. See, can you use your right foot? Can you use your left foot? Set it down somewhere, see, can you knock them off? So maybe a hard one in the corner. Oh, missed that. So keep trying until you knock them all down. So keep trying until you knock them all down. Again, great game. If there's no one else around, you can play it at home. You could time yourself or see how many shots you do it. So if it takes you seven shots to knock them over, can you do it next time in six shots or five or whatever it is. If you can work really hard to try and do that. So. You keep working, you can use different parts of your foot. Oh yes, another one over. This is like a pass too, as well as a shooting, a shooting activity. So you're trying to be really accurate and try and to pass it. Oh, that one bobbled over. So, I go again, okay, and try. So you keep trying, so keep trying, all right? What you can do as well, if you wanna go for power, we can hit the ball with our laces. So when I hit the ball with my laces, I point at my toe to the ground, and it's pretty powerful. So if I show you now a shot with my laces, so what I'm gonna do is gonna come up, I'm gonna shoot, and you can see, it goes a lot quicker and a lot harder. So I kicked, uh, it might, might be better just showing you, I see my shoe here. So I kicked the ball with this part of my foot. My toe was pointing to the ground, and my head was over the ball, all right? so. I'll show you here now, just I'll break it down really slow. So if I'm going to shoot, what I'm going to do is put my left foot here to the side, my toes pointed to the ground, and I'm driving through with my head over the ball. And then at speed, it can look like this. Okay, and you see you can get that power and really hard. So just be careful in case somebody isn't that space. If they're younger, just be easy with that shot. Okay? So if you've knocked all your cans over, you can maybe do it a different way. You can put your cans back up. Your cans can come back up. Well, you can keep trying. You can pause this video at any time. You can go through it, go over the drill. If you like that game, keep playing it. Keep going. Try it again. Try and do it for time. See how long it takes you to do it or see how many kicks you can do it in. All right. The next one might be another one is you can pretend you're dribbling. What you have to do, you have to score a goal without touching any of the cans. So now, I might try and dribble from here, and then try and shoot oh, in between the cans. So now I can't touch them. So you can set the cans up to make it harder for yourself. Maybe you could chip it over them. You could be really creative and try loads of different ways. So guys, I'm gonna let you practice that, okay? And just before we do, we'll do a little bit of a recap. So. At the start, we're doing a warm up with a little bit of our football skills. Then we're working on our speed and running. Then we're doing speed with uh, the ball. We were trying then different ways of dribbling. We did then our turns. So we did our drag back and then we did our Cruyff turn. And don't forget to look them up on YouTube. Fantastic, fantastic skill. The next thing then we did was to gain some of our inside and outside dribbling through the cones and different ways to explore dribbling. And then finally, we did a little bit of passing and shooting using the cans. So those are mainly a lot of skills that you're gonna use in football between dribbling, turning, passing, shooting, and you did them all there. So well done. Um, hopefully 
you enjoyed that i'll be back next week with another sport and hopefully you can tune in and enjoy it just as much so guys thank you very much for watching i've been gary from core kids and i shall see you very very soon thank you bye